Hey everyone, this is Arjun Rai, founder and CEO at HelloWolfie.com. Today we're going to be talking about Google Web Stories, or as it's also known as Web Stories on Google. Now this is going to be very, very important for your mobile traffic, your mobile SEO, because guess what? Google is here as a dominant force in search engine marketing, in search engines overall, and you want to pay attention when Google is introducing new products and services, new ways of helping you be found so long as you, of course, follow the rules and regulations and best practices that Google sets forth. So again, we're going to be talking about Google Web Stories today and how we will be automating the ability to schedule web stories to your website and so that it can appear in your search results when people are looking for your products and services. So again, Google Web Stories is a very simple idea. It's a very popular uh, uh, approach in terms of you know, a very similar uh, Instagram uh, stories, uh, you know, user interface where stories will accept, you know, other than existing in Instagram or, you know, within an ecosystem like that, it's going to be existing within the search results themselves. And you can learn more on Google's website, stories.google itself. But we're going to give you a quick example of what this actually looks like for an existing website called Remodelista. So go ahead and search for Remodelista. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see that there's a section called visual stories. Now, this is exactly what your you know, website could look like in terms of, um, you know, you having the story scheduled and then appearing in the search results themselves. Let's take a look at this quick example here from Kitchen Tour. And you can see there is a slideshow very similar to the Instagram approach of stories. And I can just tap my way through. I'm tapping on the right of the screen right now. And there's slideshows, there's text, there are images, and there's the ability to obviously click on the little arrow on the top right and then do a call to action as well. So the point is, this is a very, very interesting, very, very interesting and beautiful way of displaying your content in a very visual way, which is, you know, what stories were really known for and other products, uh, other uh, networks, you know, uh, use the inspiration to create their own stories version of the product. Now, you're in this mock-up now that we've sketched together in order to show you exactly how we think um, the, the product will look like within the in interface of Hello Wifi itself. So on the, on the top left, you'll see there's some text here. We're thinking this is going to be the first text that appears on the first slideshow of the Google Web Story itself for your website. And then, of course, you can upload images. Now, these images, each of them will have a little icon uh, that allows you to click on it. And then you can enter uh, text for a button. You can enter text, uh, a link for a button as well. As an, uh, and then you can, of course, enter text that will appear as an overlay specifically to that image. Once you're done with that image, you can do the same thing with the next image, the following image, the following image, and so on and so forth. And then once you're done with the Google Web Story, just hit the uh, post button, or of course you can schedule these. Of course, we're a scheduling company and a leading scheduling platform on the, on the internet. You can schedule the Google Web Stories to appear whenever you want them to uh, with the content and the images and the links and the text, the whole nine yards, uh, uh, you know, uh, embedded right in. Now, you might be wondering what it'll look like then. Well, similar to what you just saw earlier, you'll see the Insta uh, Instagram-like stories uh, uh, interface right here, which again is Google Web Stories on the web or Web Stories on Google. And you'll be able, customers will be able to go through those, whether on a mobile site or on a desktop site. And on the back end, what you'll be able to see are scheduled uh, stories and published stories as well. You'll be able to share the link to these stories with other individuals um, or, you know, across the social sphere. You'll be able to delete them, of course, if you wanted to. And of course, if you want to schedule more stories, you'll be able to schedule them inside Hello Wifi itself. And of course, you have the settings page on the bottom right. So this is a quick mock-up to show you exactly what it'll look like when it comes to Google Web Stories using HelloWolfie.com. Let me know what else uh, you know we can do for you, what other suggestions you have, what other improvements we can make. We are always looking to help the small business owner, the underdog, with smart marketing at HelloWolfie. Thanks so much. This is Arjun again, founder and CEO at HelloWolfie.com. All right, take care, guys.